These videos of conditions inside parchment are surfacing as family members of inmates are concerned that their loved ones could be the next to die. The news come across as one inmate dead once again at Parchman, not knowing if it's your family member or if it's someone else's family member. I'm praying that the guards don't let the doors open and he gets killed because he's in a kill or be killed situation. Videos sent to WAPT investigates show what appears to be inmates fighting and dirty conditions. WAPT has not been able to verify the authenticity of the videos or when they were recorded. The living conditions are horrible. He has not had a bath, a shower since last Tuesday. A lockdown of state and regional facilities will continue as the Mississippi Department of Corrections continues to investigate the most recent violence. Since Sunday, four inmates were killed and several others injured in what MDOC is calling a major disturbance. Two of those happened at the state penitentiary in Parchman. MDLC Commissioner Pellicle Hall said they've confirmed some of the major disturbances are gang related. But people are dying here. And inmates are inmates are not safe. Staff is not safe. And it's in free fall. Attorney and prisoner advocate Ron Welch blames budget cuts and understaffing for the inmate uprisings. If you wanted to cause a riot and uprising in a prison, you would do what Mississippi has done. You don't fund it, you cut hundreds of millions of dollars from their budget. Families are demanding the state take action to improve conditions inside Parchman and the other prison facilities. They say their loved ones are serving time, but it shouldn't amount to a death sentence. Reporting from Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. <laughs>